A few have asked some questions about the graph at the end of my last video called An Orgy of Inspirational Technology, and I thought it would be a good idea to make this video explaining it in greater detail. The first question I got was, how could they survey or test 6 billion people? The answer is, they didn't. Nobody did. This is a statistical analysis based on data available from the UN and the World Health Organization. We are looking at the circumcision rates and HIV rates of different continents around the world and looking to see if circumcision seems to help reduce the rates of HIV infection or not. The second question was regarding the fact there aren't 6 billion men in the world. That's correct, there are over 3 billion men, but here we're looking at infection rates across both sexes. If circumcision really helps reduce the risk of HIV infection, we should see a correlation between those who are not circumcised and a higher infection rate, but we don't. We actually see an inverse correlation, or no correlation at all. The third question was, how can 90% of men in Africa have HIV? They don't. I took the global average of HIV infection, which is just under 1%, and made that 50%. Otherwise, the bars would be so small, you would not be able to see any visual correlation, inverse correlation, or lack of correlation. Here, this will help. This graph shows the same thing, but without moving the global average of HIV prevalence to 50%. As you can see, the red bars are too short to see anything clearly. This graph shows the HIV prevalence per continent, with the top of the graph at 3% and the bottom at 0 we are zoomed in far enough here to see things more clearly, but we can't see the circumcision rates, so we can't compare. So I overlaid the two by moving the global average to 50%. Now we can see if there's a correlation, an inverse correlation, or no correlation at all. And it appears that there is no correlation, or maybe even an inverse correlation, to the idea that circumcision will reduce HIV infection rates. In other words, it appears it's not true. It's hard to beat a statistical analysis of over 6 billion people compared to a small, flawed study of only just over 3,000. I hope that helps.